Okay, good morning, student, once again. So uh, let us begin on the left out portions of unconscious, okay? So on my last class, uh, till how much point I have discussed you all, please remind me first so that we, we, we can complete by today itself and I'll send you all the notes. Just tell me where we were. Anyone remember? Causes of unconsciousness, ma'am. Very good. Causes of unconsciousness. Okay. In the causes of unconsciousness, I think I have taught you all about the, I have asked you all about the some scale, right? What was the name of the scale? <clears throat> what was the name of the scale that I asked you all? Because we are discussing about unconsciousness. No, so with that scale only you can uh, you can mark the level of unconsciousness. So what was the name of the scale? FVPU scale. Okay, very good. FVPU scale, right? So I have asked the day and then Jiban have answered it today. Uh, for the last time, can anyone tell me what is the full form of FVPU? Arif, can you please tell me, Arif? Arif, you are getting such a good opportunity to reply the answer. While so many students are there, but I'm giving you an opportunity. So just say. Okay, Arif, I think you have network issue. Okay, no problem. Asim, can you please can you please tell me what is the full form of every PU skill? Hurry up, hurry up, don't waste time. Hmm. Yeah, say it, say it. In the okay, I see no problem. Uh, you are not that like audible, okay? Okay. Birwasri, tell me what is FEPU skill. Pass, pass. A large voice, time, and unresponsiveness. Unresponsiveness. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you, Birwasri. Okay, so you all know the meaning of FEPU, right? And no need to repeat also all these things. Okay, so this is uh, the, in FVPU skill, you need to record the patient level of responsiveness, the level of consciousness, okay? You have to uh, record it, okay? And how to do all these things, so I have already taught you all, so no need to repeat, so. So we have discussed about the causes, everything, uh, uh, we have completed the causes. I think we were in the chemical composition, I guess. Is it? Three causes, ma'am, only. Yes, okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we have discussed about the causes of unconsciousness, now. So if there is disturbances in the chemical composition of the blood, in, in our blood, there are several chemical composition, okay? So, uh, so, so that help in the functioning of our blood or that help in circulation. So when there is disturbances in that particular chemical compositions, okay? Okay, so there is a... And there is a like there is a chances of having unconsciousness okay for example lack of oxygen as in asphyxia there will be abnormal blood sugar levels in diabetes or presence of poisonous substances in the blood so uh, these are the example okay where disturbances of chemical composition in, of the blood occurs okay when you have a when your oxygen level is low okay when there is a abnormal blood sugar level in your blood and when uh, when when there is a presence of poisonous substances in your blood okay if all these things are present in your blood then there will be disturbances in the chemical compositions okay so due to these reasons there can be a chances of having unconscious okay uh, are you clear all of you yes ma'am Okay, next, disturbances in the electrical activities of the brain. Okay, when there is a disturbances in the electrical activities of the brain, then there's a chances of developing this unconsciousness. Okay, means electrical activities, uh, our brain mein jo electrical activities, you know, if disturb to, like uh, unconscious, only the chances hota hai. Example in epilepsy, what is epilepsy? The day itself I explain. What is epilepsy? Epilepsy. Tell me what is a, 
What is epilepsy? बोलू मैंने बोल दिया ना उस दिन तो एक्सप्लेन कर लिया इसलिए तो मैं 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 इन इन नर्व सेल एक्टिविटी ब्रेन गेट्स ओके वेरी गुड व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स सीजर यस वेरी गुड एपिलेप्सी मीन सीजर ओके so okay cause of what you said is also correct so this was the disorder of what i have told you all na disorder kya hai ye respiratory problem hai ya fir kya disorder hai ya fir cns ka problem ya fir kya problem tha i have told you all na epilepsy ye kya hai it relate to nerve na it is the neurological disorder right epilepsy is a central nervous system that is neurological disorder okay hamara cns jo hamara nervous system hai na central nervous system usme disturbances hota hai okay when there is a disturbances in our central nervous system or you can simply call neurological disorder okay okay where our brain activity become abnormal hamara jo brain ka jo activity hai na जो जो काम करने वाला जो एक्टिविटी है ना इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी उसमें अगर डिस्टर्बेंस हुआ या फिर एबनॉर्मल हुआ ओके देन देयर इज चांसेस ऑफ डेवलपिंग अनकॉन्शियसनेस ओके एंड एक्सटर्नली यू कैन सी इफ समवन इज हैविंग अ एपिलेप्सी और समवन इज लाइक डेवलपिंग सीजर ओके देयर इज एबनॉर्मल बॉडी मूवमेंट ओके सो दीस आर द कॉज ऑफ अनकॉन्शियसनेस आर यू क्लियर व्हाट डिस्टर्बेंसेस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी इंडिकेट ट्रीटमेंटिल so it will be very very easy for you all to memorize and to by heart okay padhne mein bhi easy hoga because every treatment every precaution procedure is almost similar okay so now let us see what to do safety first and call for help that today also we have discussed obviously khud ka safety ya fir khud ka danger na hone ke liye we have to like look first that one okay after that we have after that only after making our sure making ourselves safe then only we will provide first aid to the victim or to the casualty okay so when you find someone unconscious what you need to do you have to talk loudly to the casualty okay we have to talk loudly to the casualty tap him on the shoulder and ask if he is okay so sabse pehle usko dekha so you have to talk him loudly okay what is your name or whatever it is whatever things you want to ask or whatever you want to mention or talk okay so you have to talk loudly okay as well as tap him on the shoulder okay and ask him if he is okay do not shake the person too roughly usko usko shake karna hai ya fir usko like you have to like yeah you have to like how to say yeah you have to shake the casualty but shake in such a way that the shake in such a way that it is not rough okay so lightly you have to shake so that that is the point that you need to remember and check if the casualty is conscious or unconscious and act accordingly so uske baad usko check karna hai you saw the victim right you saw the casualty and you have to see whether he is conscious or unconscious okay and act accordingly wo check karna hai that is the first thing and then to do so okay to do so means like fir se like you have to repeat it first of all you have to talk loudly to the person shake him gently check if the person open his eyes responds to simple stimuli these are the things that i already explained to you so no need to repeat so you have to check na whether his eye opening ho raha hai ke what is your name what where do you live how old are you all these things check if the injured person responds to tumhara command ko responds kar raha hai ke whether he responds your command or not that is if you say squeeze your hand move your arm all this i have explained all these things i think no need to repeat right what you need to repeatedly do it again what to do so is it okay yes ma'am okay <clears throat> so what we find is safety first and call for help the other one is provide first aid so this was number third point moving on to the number fourth point so what to do when the casualty responds okay what to do when the casualty responds 
सो लरासी कैजुअलिटी विक्टिम सामने में देख रहा है वो रेस्पॉन्स तो कर रहा है बट व्हाट यू नीड टू डू इफ ही रेस्पॉन्स ओके सो ट्राई नॉट टू चेंज द पोजीशन ऑफ द पर्सन इफ देयर हैज बीन अ हेड नेक बैक लेग और आर्म इंजरी अगर उसका माथे पे या फिर नेक पे मींस गले पे नेक पे या फिर बैक पे या फिर लेग पे या फिर आर्म पे इंजरी हुआ तो लाइक डू नॉट चेंज द पोजीशन ओके जैसा विक्टिम पोजीशन में देखा उसमें ऐसे ही रखना है ओके like that is what the first like the first remedy or the first like precaution okay that you need to follow or you need yeah you need to maintain or follow are you clear you should not change the position if he is he if he responds yes or no yes ma'am yes okay. ma'am okay moving on to the next point next try to find out what happened to the per, uh, to the person because suddenly you saw him na the suddenly you saw victim and then like you you will try you will be very like concerned you will be very like concerned to know that uh, what happened to him okay so you'll try to find out what happened to that particular person okay the, the, you'll try to find out that person only when like he responds okay kyunki kya hua puchne so uh, means if he could respond then only he can respond you back now otherwise if he is totally unresponsive that it's of no use of asking so tell the person to stay calm and not to move if possible or who like uh, tell him to chill okay tell him to chill to calm not to be in so much of stress not to be in tension okay so usko calm karna hai calm down karna hai. that that should be the first either like the first either should focus on okay in all those points next look and feel for breathing okay so first of all you you you, you are asked not to change the position the other one is okay you you should try to find out what happened to the person and the other one you have to tell the person uh, relax chill uh, don't take too much of stress okay and don't move you say like that and again uh, after that you will look for the breathing okay whether his breathing pattern is rapid or fast or rapid fast slow or whatever it is okay you have to check it after that keep checking the casualty to make sure he is not getting worse so even if he responds also don't think that he get he is well now okay? you have to keep on checking the casualty to make sure that he is not getting worse okay if he get worse then that that would be a negative point okay next verify regularly the level of consciousness and breathing so you know now how to verify the level of consciousness all those things so you know so you have to verify the regular regularly the level of consciousness is breaking so every 10 minutes check on it will be hoga uska pulse uska like breathing pattern all those things you can check it next find medical help the for the person if needed because if he even do the casualty response but we never know na he, his condition might get worse and so you may have to like uh, call for the medical help okay if it if it is needed on are you clear what do you need to do when the casualty responds to you yes or no yes ma'am okay next next what to do when the casualty does not respond to you you are calling him calling him but he doesn't respond to you na so what do you need to do try not to change the position of the person if there has been a head neck same thing same thing the 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 the, uh, the things that you need to follow on the uh, when the casualty responds and when he doesn't respond the first point is same and then the injured person urgently need help shout or call for help this one you already got okay you already got these things uh, if the injured person urgently need help then you have to shout out for help if you are alone okay you shout out for help okay and never leave the patients or the victim alone okay if there is nearby healthcare facility available then you have to call him okay and uh, uh, that is the thing so these are already like you have known already before so no need to repeat so if you have gloves put them on okay if gloves is available then you put them uh, on okay for do not search for gloves if not available and continue with the next step. if gloves is not available then don't search for the glove okay kyunki achanak se victim ko dekha aisa thodi na necessary hai ki every time the gloves should be in your first aid box or in your packet whatever it is sometimes it might miss out na so what you need to do is that you have to have if you have gloves put them off so why we need to put these gloves while like like while checking out the casualty okay when he doesn't respond because if they are breathing occur like if the if bleeding occur because of the injury or whatever it is for that so that so that uh, like cross infection can be there na there can be a cross infection okay so because of that 
uh, to prevent from any contamination or prevent from infection, that you have to wear the gloves. Okay, and while you are doing dressing and all, also you have to like wear the gloves. So that is why the gloves is the gloves comes in between. Are you clear, all of you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, because yes, ma see, see, uh, see this. You know now how people get HIV. You know now how people get HIV. Yes, ma'am. So what is the full form of HIV? Human immunodeficiency virus. Yes, very good. Human, human immunodeficiency virus, okay? So this, this, we all know that now this HIV, we can get, uh, we can get like, we can, if you get contact with the infected blood, okay? Because these are the, like, the, the, this particular HIV and all are transmitted from, transmitted from the from the blood okay from the infected blood suppose you find the casualty okay and then like he's so much of bleeding he's so much of bleeding and then you can't directly touch with your hand now because if you are also having a cut somewhere injury and then you find the casualty you are not doing any investigation of him now you're not doing any investigation of him you directly saw him and then you try to help him that's it but you never know now that, uh, that he is, uh, what type of disease or what type of problem he is having, you never know. That's why, like, if the if, if he is an HIV patient and if if his blood is flowing because of the injury, if his blood is bleeding, and that particular blood of him is overflow upon to you, okay? And you, you have some cut area in your, in, in your body. And if it enters there, if it transmitted over there, then you will have the chances to get infected. So that is why gloves is very, very essential to have it. Are you clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma so even in hospital also, like in bed in hospital also, now you will also very be, be careful, okay? Like don't touch unnecessary things and all. <laughs> because we never know na case type ka and then in some some hospital to they, they don't use to inform also that that particular patient is like uh having the hiv and all because these are the things it's so embarrassing not that someone is having hiv and all because this these are mainly like uh, uh some people used to have because of the virus that enters uh, while having this unprotected sex and all okay with someone with hiv and all, all these things that's why that's why it's very, very embarrassing or shameful things, okay? That's why people used to hide even after they detected. So in some, some hospital, they used to write in their bed. and But in some, some hospital, they don't used to write. That's why, like, uh, always ask uh, whenever you enter the hospital, if you have HIV patient, what do you want to say? You like, always karna. Okay, next, let's move on. You must unblock the breathing passage. So obviously, if a casualty response is not right, so like, you will try to assess every, every, everything. Right? You have to like to assess his whole body. So you, you must unblock the breathing passage. So how you need to unblock the breathing passage, you already know. Gently roll the person over onto his back. You gently roll the person, okay? Gently, softly roll, so roll karna, okay, on his back. After that, carefully till his head back. Uska jo matha hai na, uska jo hat hai, till karna, backward ki taraf till karna, and uska jo chin hai na, you just lift, lift the chin with your hand on the bony part of your chin, okay? On the bony, on the bony part of the chin. Ye hamara jo chin hai na, wo bony part mein thoda, those hands se thoda lift karna, okay? And this simple action, lift the thumb from the back of the thumb, because that day I already taught you all na, agar kisi ka, Unconscious ka time pe tang kya hota hai? Us din mene explain kya tha? Oh my god. Mene explain kya tha? Unconscious patient me sign and symptoms kya kya hota hai? Us ka tang. Bolo. Uh, it gets uh, stuck in the throat. Man. Yeah, the tongue used to goes backward, na? Agar unconscious honi se aage tar, hamara normally to see, see, look yourself, your tongue. It's not going back to your throat, na? It's instead it is coming towards your mouth. It's not it. Yes or no? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. 
तो वेन द पेशेंट इज अनकॉन्शियस ना तो उसका जो टंग है ना पीछे तरफ जाता है ट्रॉट की तरफ बैक ऑफ द ट्रॉट की तरफ जाता है पीछे तरफ जाता है तो क्या है हम उसका हेड इसीलिए वी हैव टू केयरफुली टील हिज हेड ओके बैक एंड ऑल्सो लिव द चिन लिव द चिन आप विद अवर हैंड ओके उसका बोनी पार्ट ऑफ द चिन को लिव करना है ताकि उसका टंग वो है जिस उसका टंग ना पीछे तरफ ना जाए क्योंकि पीछे रहते तो जाने से क्या होगा उसको सांस लेने में भी प्रॉब्लम होगा सांस ब्रीदिंग पैटर्न में ब्लॉक ब्लॉकेज होगा अंडरस्टैंड तो यू हैव टू लाइक यू हैव टू अनब्लॉक ऑल दिस पैसेज ना सो यू हैव टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्टिविटीज और दिस एक्शन सो आर यू क्लियर यस मैम ओके व्हाट यू नीड टू डू व्हेन द कैजुअलिटी दैट्स नॉट रेस्पॉन्स अगर रेस्पॉन्स कर पाया तो ऑब्वियसली खुद करेगा ना Carly, your video is on. Okay. Okay, and then do not put your hand on the soft part under the chin to do so. Because he has been told that that in the bony part of the chin, he has to keep his his chin to lift. Karna hai na to. बट डू नॉट पुट योर हैंड ऑन द सॉफ्ट पार्ट अंदर द चिन हमारा चिन का अंदर में जो सॉफ्ट सॉफ्ट पार्ट है ना उसमें हाथ नहीं रखना है वो बोला ओके नेक्स्ट If the person is breathing, that was number one, two, three, four. Now that was number four. Under the four, there we got the three point. And next is number five. <coughs> If you find that the person is breathing, then you have to put him in the recovery positions because now now he is like what to do when the casualty does not respond. That is when he does not respond. So while he bath kar raha hai, okay, breathing would not breathing or breathing that is different. If he does not respond, ye sab karna hai, okay. And then if he does not respond as well as is if he is not breathing, so ye aisa karke usse airway passages ko unblock karna hai. And next is. If the person is breathing, okay, unconscious तो है लेकिन वो वो breathe ही नहीं कर रहा है, breathe कर रहा है, okay. If the person is breathing, you have to put him in the recovery position, okay. And also be careful when moving and turning the victim because it is better to ask assistant by bystander. So अगर assistant available होने से उसको बोल देना कि like you just move the patients a little bit like that, but be careful, okay. so you can take the bystander that is the the relative or whatever is help help to move the patients okay do not leave the person alone and keep checking his breathing okay as you know that he is breathing na so never try to leave the person or the victim or the casualty alone okay and keep checking his breathing pattern and because his breathing pattern can fluctuate any time na so you need to keep assessing Okay, keep the injured person warm by taking off wet clothes, cover him with a blanket and other covering, taking not to overheat him. So all of the all these things you already know. You already know them. And then, if not done yet, arrange transport and healthcare facility available if available there. Okay, so so now that is what you what you need to do when the when the when the patient is breathing. Okay, now. What to do when the person stop breathing? Okay, so when the person stop breathing, you all already know that you have to perform CPR, right? Am I correct or am I wrong? Correct, ma'am. Okay. Correct, ma'am. So you already know now when जब वो unconscious है लेकिन सांस तो ले रहा है तो all these are the things that you need to perform the simple simple things you need to perform अभी वो अनकॉन्शियस है उसके साथ साथ वो सांस भी नहीं ले रहा है इज नॉट इवन टेकिंग ब्रेड ओके सो यू हैव टू परफॉर्म सीपीआर एंड आई ऑलरेडी टॉट यू ऑल ना सीपीआर माउथ टू माउथ ये सब कैसे कैसे देता है ओके देन देन व्हाट यू नीड टू सी इज दैट डू नॉट Do not interrupt the resuscitation until the victim start to wake up moves open his eyes and breathe normally okay So do not inter. You are giving a CPR, but do not interrupt the resuscitation until the victim start to wake up, move, open his eyes, and breathe normally. So uh, CPR tum de rahe ho when you are giving CPR, okay? Tab jab tak wo wake up nahi hoga, jab tak wo move nahi karega khud ko ya fir if he doesn't open the eyes or if he doesn't breathe, breathe normally. So jab tak ye performance nahi perform kar payegi, tab tak you should not interrupt the resuscitation. So are you clear? You already know this. I already explain. I'm just repeating. Are you clear? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next, help arrive and take over. Do not interrupt the resuscitation until help arrive. जब तक जब तक पूरा trained person, expert बोला person नहीं आएगा ना, तब तक like uh, uh, do not interrupt. Keep performing yourself. Okay. And do not interrupt the resuscitation until you become too exhausted. You become too tired to continue. Until they keep performing CPR. Okay. Or the scene become unsafe for you to, and if you find that the scene, okay, the scene, jaga the scene becomes, or usko dekhe aisa lag raha ke, oh my god, I won't perform anymore. Okay, it is unsafe to perform CPR. If you find in like that, or if you face that conditions, then then only you can interrupt in between. But otherwise, like you should not interrupt while you are giving resuscitation or you are giving CPR. Are you clear, right? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> With this, we have end up, we have end up uh, these portions of unconscious. Uh, if Jiban can take attendance, be Jiban, please take attendance. If not, Carly will take attendance. You just like talk in between you two, okay? So like if 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 you are asked to write about the treatment also, okay, all these are the treatment only. That, all these are the treatment that you need to follow, okay? So whatever I have discussed. All these things are the treatment that you need to follow, okay? Agar sirf treatment put likna hai na, exam mein. Because your final, you might have offline na. So, agar sirf treatment bol ke aisa likna hai, you can write in any how. What I want from you all is just the understanding, okay? You can write in any way. Aisa nahi ki, I have given the notes like this. If you could write, that is the best method. But aisa nahi ki, if you add your idea or... Something, if you add something extra, I will cut the mark. It's not like that. Instead, I will like find it more. I'll, I will have like, the feeling to give you all more marks because you understand and you could make up yourself. No? So, and if I just give you all like this, write the treatment of this uh, unconscious patient, then you just, the first thing is that you should try to maintain or open the airway. Can anyone say? Airway open करने के लिए मैंने इतना सारा सिखाया था ना पहले एस्पाइसिया ये सब में भी you can just write down remove any denture is present any any vomitas or anything that are present in the mouth or other cloth tight हुआ तो try to loosen it and then if breathing stop stop start artificial ventilation immediately okay or yes uh, Okay, all these things you can just you, you you can just make up by yourself. Okay, but that should relate to the that should relate to the questions that you are asked. Okay, and then you can just try that we whenever we find someone, then we have to check the vital signs, we have to check the pulse, we have to check the breathing, we have to check the level of responsiveness or level of responsiveness. check resuscitation se lena resuscitation se mini MVPO scale dia You can just make it up all this. Okay. And then other patient has final injury be was so in that case we should not move the patient. Yes, sir. Like you can just make it. You are clear, right? Whatever I have taught you all till today. <laughs> yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so after the class is over, I as we have completed this notes, I'll send the PDF directly. Okay, so I just hope you all have written down. Okay, any questions that you want to ask? If not, we can end the class for today. I think there are lots more portions left, no? Like, I'll see in next class, like, uh, I might teach you, teach you all barn also. Any questions? No, ma'am. Okay. Okay, then uh, Jiban or Carly, anyone who have taken attendance? Jiban, are you taking attendance because your network is very poor now? That's why. Uh, I took a screenshot, ma'am. I'll oh, okay, send it okay. to me. Okay, okay. Then you write down and send it to me, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, and, I, and whoever attended the class now, I request everyone to attend the practical class kyunki aaj do do practical class lenge ek to resuscitation ka step jo main notes bhejungi 
because I told you, now I'll send you all the notes because if I dictate also, it's no use. Because class learning ka time pe dictate karne se like, like, like uh, interesting nahi hota hai. So I'll just explain just the step, then I'll send you all. The PDF is also ready. And apart from that, I'll teach you all on the topic pulse. Because temperature, we have complete all the normal values you, you already know. Now pulse detail we will discuss, okay? Once pulse is over, we'll go respiration. Then the three things are over. And then after that, we will start, uh, we'll start learning the procedure, how to take TPR. Kaise liya jata hai? Are you clear, all of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. okay, then for now, thank you everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ma